we can confirm without a doubt is our equipment is on the surface of the moon. A historic moment in lunar exploration, a U.S. made spacecraft landing on the moon for the first time in over 50 years. Welcome to the moon. This feat is a giant leap forward for all of humanity. The last time the U.S. landed on the moon was the Apollo 17 mission back in 1972. This is quite an emotional feeling to, uh, to be here. That's the CEO of Intuitive Machines speaking before the launch. He's the head of the company that created this robotic explorer named Odysseus. It's the first time a private company has landed on the moon. This is a small little company trying to do something that is very bold. Odysseus's landing came after a nail-biting final approach and descent when there was a problem with the spacecraft's autonomous navigation system. Their ability to land is not with a radar, but with light pulses called LIDAR. And it is on the blink. It's not working. It's not working. They're trying to patch the NASA LIDAR to the spacecraft and it con its control system. And so this is really one of those white knuckle times right at the last minute. Odysseus is about the size of a phone booth. No crew members were on board. NASA paid the company $118 million for the mission. While that seems like a steep price, it's a pretty good deal for space travel. It's a commercial lander, so it's not a NASA lander. But that's the whole purpose of having this is we can pay for the services a lot cheaper than doing it ourselves, send our own instruments on these landers, let them be scouts mm -hmm. for us before we actually land with astronauts on the moon. Odysseus landed Thursday night on the moon's south pole. None of the Apollo missions have ever landed in that area. The goal is to explore that part of the moon and see if there's water in the form of ice before NASA sends a crewed mission there in late 2026. Brandon Chogri, City News.